Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. What was Anna Chickadee Cardwell's net worth at the time of her passing on Saturday, December 9th? She had not been in the spotlight in quite some time. Yet, she had recently returned and had quite a social media presence. So, aside from two young girls and a husband, how much money does she leave behind? Read on for more details. As a teenager, Anna Cardwell was known as Chickadee on Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. She had a baby named Caitlin, but when the show ended, she seemingly had nothing. Back in 2015, Anna sued her mother, Mama June Shannon, for 300 k as well as TLC. She claimed that this was money she and Caitlin were owed from the hit TLC show which revolved around their family. It included Alana, Honey Boo Boo Thompson, who was a little pageant girl, and Alana's father, Sugar Bear. He was Mama June's partner, plus she had two additional daughters, Pumpkin and Jessica, while they lived by the train tracks. After the show was cancelled, Anna stayed away from the family and any additional shows that they filmed. She was not a part of Mama June, from not to hot. Eventually, she was on TikTok doing battles with her aunt Dodo, as well as her sisters. Then, last season, she appeared on Family Crisis for two episodes. She was at Mama June's wedding shower and at her vow renewal. Sadly, her last words on the show were that she had cancer, stage 4 adrenal carcinoma, and it took her life fast. At the time of her death, Anna Cardwell was reportedly worth around $1 million, according to In Touch Weekly. For some time, she worked at Walmart, per Hollywood Life. I'm a stalker at Walmart. I basically lift up heavy stuff and put it on shelf, and reaching from the top shelf. Then, she was a saleswoman at Five Star Toyota, which she clearly loved based on her social media. Clearly, Anna Cardwell was a hard worker, in both retail and as a car saleswoman. However, the bulk of her worth likely came from her TikTok interaction and filming. She was likely paid to appear in Family Crisis, plus their photos from the vow renewal were sold. Additionally, she will be featured in the upcoming season, as well in her story will play a big part. Furthermore, it is said that not only did she marry her longtime boyfriend, Eldridge Tony, but that was also filmed. Therefore, this footage may have come with a nice price tag. Finally, Anna never got the money from TLC or her mother, but that all seems pointless now. When viewers first met Anna Cardwell as a teenager, she was a single parent to Caitlin. It was unclear who the father was, and it really did not seem to matter. So, she raised the tot on her. And then, here Comes Honey Boo Boo was cancelled and Anna went out on her own. She saw that she and her daughter, Caitlin, were owed 300 k from Mama June and TLC. Therefore, she took the proper actions to get what she deserved. During all of this, she met Michael Cardwell, born in 1992 in Alabama, in 2013 per Mo. The two then got married the following year, the same time that Honey Boo Boo was cancelled. In 2015, Kylie joined the couple, but they were only content for two more years before they filed for divorce. He claims that he maintained a relationship with both of the girls regardless of not being Caitlyn's bio dad. Additionally, he contends he still pays for her schooling, but what does he do for work? He has a job at Fleming's Auto Recycling. In early 2023, Anna became ill with stage 4 adrenal carcinoma which took her life at 29 on December 9th. Michael would get Kylie while Mama June took custody of Caitlin, which was odd as she and Anna Cardwell were estranged for years. Soon, Michael chose to take action and file for custody of Caitlin, stating that he engaged in consistent caretaking of the child and established a bonded and dependent relationship with the child. Furthermore, he has maintained he has consistently been in Caitlin's life regardless of his status with her mother and has been providing for her as well. In a Reddit thread, fans have been very supportive of Michael Cardwell and what he wants to do. 
They believe Mama June's home is the wrong place for Anna Cardwell's eldest. Furthermore, they saw Michael's fiancée's social media, and both Caitlin and Kylie were featured. So, it seems that Michael has really been trying to ensure that Kylie and Caitlin had a safe place after Anna passed away, but Mama June wanted to have it her way. Now, it is up to a judge to either keep them together or tear them apart. Mama June Shannon just showed off Anna Cardwell's ashes on TikTok Live, yet some have actually blown away. At the same time, fans were not happy with her showing off her late daughter in the way that she was. Read on for more details on what transpired. It has been nearly two weeks since Anna Cardwell passed away at the age of 29. She succumbed to stage 4 adrenal carcinoma and left behind two daughters. Fans have not been happy with Mama June and her constant social media presence. She has been sharing where fans can send gifts and donations to the girls, Kylie and Caitlin. Additionally, she made an Amazon wish list which had more adult items. Then, she filmed Anna's eldest daughter, Caitlin, to the point fans feel she should leave the young girl alone. Now, June is being torn apart for her latest action. Keep in mind that when June does not like what fans have to say, she gets nasty and vile. A Reddit thread was started with a screenshot from a recent live. June was holding Anna's urn up and smiling. The OP wrote this. Okay, so that shows the respect they have for Anna's grieving husband by not giving him a bag. However, the lack of respect for Anna made Redditors ill. Then, another thread was started calling Mama June vile for showing this on social media. That OP questioned if June could possibly get any lower. Redditors on both threads were completely appalled by Mama June showing off Anna Cardwell's urn. Again, they felt it was like she was holding up a trophy. More so, they did not like hearing her say that this was what her daughter would have wanted. Mainly because Anna is not here to say that for herself. One person noted that they hoped Anna's ex-husband would be able to use the urn video against June in court. Michael Cardwell is currently trying to get custody of Caitlin, even though he is only the biological father of Kelly. Ultimately, it was suggested that everyone stop following June. The more attention she gets, the worse she becomes. Unfortunately, there are the die-hard fans who won't stop no matter how low she sinks. What do you think of her showcasing Anna's urn? Moreover, do you think it's gross that Anna's husband did not even get a bag with his ashes thus he lost some? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Mama June Shannon may just have something to worry about as Anna's ex, Michael, possibly has a solid argument to win custody of Caitlyn. Could Michael legally take Caitlyn from Mama June? Keep reading for the details. When Anna Chickadee Cardwell passed away, fans of her reality TV family only had one big question. Who gets custody of her daughters? Presently, her eight-year-old daughter Kylie is in the custody of her biological father, Michael. Anna's 11-year-old daughter, on the other hand, is in the custody of Mama June Shannon. As TV shows Ace has reported, fans of this reality TV family have had all sorts of issues with the custody arrangements. For starters, fans thought the girls being split up after their mother died wasn't good for their mental health. Likewise, fans question if Mama June is even fit to take care of children, as she couldn't even properly take care of her children. Sadly, it isn't really clear who the biological father of Anna's oldest daughter is. As TV shows H reported, Mama June recently revealed on a shocking TikTok video that her daughter was never able to figure out who Caitlin's father was. Mama June Shannon, however, argues that Anna Cardwell's ex, Michael, doesn't have any legal rights to Caitlin because he isn't her biological father. In chatter on Reddit, however, fans beg to differ. Fans argue that keeping the girls together as they mourn the death of their mother is absolutely what's best for them. Likewise, fans point out that Michael has always been in the girls' lives. Furthermore, he is stable and can give the girls what Mama June and her husband can't. One fan noted they would be willing to donate money to help Michael fight Mama June in court. 
others questioned if what Caitlin wanted would be taken into consideration. Several fans chimed in to clarify that typically a child has to be 13 before their opinions are considered in court. Unfortunately, that would make Caitlin a few years too young for her opinion to hold any water. What do you think is best for Anna Cardwell's children amid her passing? Should Michael be fighting to keep them together? Or is he making this situation more difficult? Let us know in the comments. And keep coming back for more updates on this messy situation.